say good morning, McKinnon. She's not so sure. <laughs> so I just finished my workout a little bit ago. I made some breakfast for myself. I've got oatmeal and coffee. I'm wearing a new shirt today that I got from ASOS. It came in the mail yesterday. I'm super excited about it. It says, beauty attracts the eye and personality attracts the heart. Super cute, I love it. Um, I'm gonna get McKinnon dressed here in a minute and I'm getting out some new toys for her today So um, We'll see how that goes. She gets bored with the same toys. So I like to put away Like her toys and only have a few out at a time because she gets bored And so I switch out her toys when she gets bored, right? She's a diva <laughs> Are you a diva? Are you a little diva? Yes. All right, I've had my breakfast. I'm still drinking my coffee, but we're gonna have some story time, aren't we? Yeah, you're already reading the book. She's so smart. <laughs> Y'all, she's getting so smart. Used to, she would just like stare at the book and be so confused. And now she actually like grabs at the book. And if I point to something, she'll attempt to touch it. She still doesn't have total control, but you're doing pretty well. You're getting so big and so smart. <laughs> All right, I need to start editing the vlog and I need to feed this little girl. Yeah? By the way, I think we are going to Ikea today, and then we also have to pick up essentials for my recovery time after getting my wisdom teeth taken out. Um, I'll need, like, you know, the ice packs that go around your face for your cheeks, whatever. Um, and we have to fill all of my prescriptions that I'm going to need, because they gave me all of those ahead of time. That way, I would go ahead and have the medicine, and... I think I have to take like an antibiotic before the surgery, I think, so yeah. I actually need that beforehand. So we're gonna get all that done today. Make sure and get ingredients for smoothies that I will not be drinking out of a straw. <laughs> um, but I'm probably gonna want smoothies, so I'll just get ingredients for that. I'm really sad that I won't be able to eat like real food, especially since I've been like making food for myself lately. But whatever. I'm also really sad that I'll be out of commission for a few days and Matthew is gonna have to take care of this little one without me. McKinnon, are you gonna let me know if he does a good job? Probably, because he'll probably start screaming if you're not happy. <laughs> Won't you? All right, I gotta feed this little girl. Do you like the camera? <laughs> are you gonna eat it? <laughs> I'm watching The Bachelor, and I'm about to have my lunch. My rice with chicken is ready underneath this. McKinnon just woke up from a nap, so she's pretty content over there. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> so I feel like everyone does this at the beginning of the year, but I'm currently going through my closet. There were a lot of things that ended up on the floor that the cats like knocked down because they tend to sleep in my closet a lot. Um, so I have like a pile of things to wash, but my main issue is the majority of my closet is still maternity clothes. So like anytime I go to like find a shirt, I'm like searching all around for it. Like looking in the bachelor's chest, looking in here, like looking in folded clothes that I haven't worn. Um, because like 
maternity clothes are still taking up the majority of my closet. Like, obviously, those are, like, Disney ears that don't go there. But, like, the stack over here is maternity. These are just my t-shirts that I wear to bed. Um, some of this is maternity. A lot of my jeans are maternity, which I'm not wearing anymore, by the way. Like, I've lost weight. I'm back in my normal clothes. Um... And then I've got like maternity dresses in here. So I'm just trying to go through everything and take out this stuff that is just wasting space in my closet. Because this is a smaller closet than what I had at our town home in Tennessee. Um, so I'm trying to get stuff out of here that's just wasting space or stuff that just ended up on the floor. And get everything washed or put away. Which I have some clear boxes at the top. Um, of my closet I can't reach I'll have to get Matthew to get him he's the one who put him up there that's my kid and just making noise she's not like crying um, but I'm gonna put away all the maternity stuff because I am not getting pregnant again anytime soon so I'm gonna put away that that way I have more room in my closet and I don't have to take up so much space in my um, bachelor's chest and then also to put like new things in here because I don't really have a ton of room for that um, and then also I need to go through my shoes because thanks a lot pregnancy I don't fit into a lot of my shoes anymore my feet grew a size during pregnancy which is super frustrating so I need to like try on shoes and see which ones I can still fit in because I don't really know my size right now so because I do fit into some of my old shoes so yeah I'm gonna just have to try on all of them and see what fits and what doesn't fit but Matthew is on his way home. He's getting dinner, and then we are going to go to Ikea. Um, I think he's putting in my prescriptions right now for my medicine I need for my surgery. But we're going to go to Ikea. We're going to go to Target, and Matthew's going to get his hair cut while I'm at Target with McKinnon getting food. So yeah, it's a busy evening, but it's been a very productive day. McKinnon has been great. She hasn't wanted me to hold her constantly so that's been nice I've been able to get some stuff done she's entertaining herself right now she's just talking to herself so McKinnon got some late Christmas gifts from Matthew's assistant Susan's your assistant she got this which will be great for tummy time maybe she'll stop spreading her arms out flat and then she got this giant elephant that she, she loves, loves it. <laughs> when I put her over there and Sierra was still holding the elephant she goes <laughs> looking at it and just like, why are you taking it away? Yeah, I started putting the elephant up here with her pillow and she was just like staring at it and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I took your elephant away. <laughs> Again, and you're so cute. Surrounded by toys, <laughs> loving life. All right, we're gonna eat some dinner and then get ready to go to Ikea, right? Did you put in my prescriptions? Uh-huh. Okay. That I act much older than I am. Because oh, now gosh. they know how old I am. Oh, hi. <laughs> FaceTime with Grandma. <laughs> Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go do a Target haul, okay? Okay. <laughs> so we're home from Target, obviously. We also went and got Matthew's haircut, finally. We did not go to Ikea because the time by the time we finished with all of that, we would have had like 15 minutes at Ikea. But I thought I would show y'all some of the stuff I got at Target for basically for my recovery when I'm not gonna be able to really eat food. So I got three different kinds of soup. I got cream of potato, cream of mushroom, and cream of chicken. I got some applesauce. I got juices because like the first day I was told is pretty much liquid diet. I got berry veggie, kale blazer. This is Mighty Dozen and it's got it's basically a green a bunch of greens. And then I got green goodness and I got some kombucha, kombucha, whatever you want to say, multi green. I got some collagen. Um, this isn't like just for recovery. I've been meaning to get collagen powder to use in smoothies. Um, I got coconut milk for smoothies because I thought that would maybe be fun and yummy to put with like fruit smoothies. 
Um, I got several of these Yoplait light, just plain vanilla yogurts. Um, I also got another thing of coconut milk. And I got three things of this baby spinach, but I put the rest of it in the fridge. But that's also for smoothies. When I can start like adding, adding in food, like solid food again, I already have oatmeal that I can use. And so um, I've got that. But I just needed like good juices that'll like really keep me going just during that time when I need like nutrients but I can't eat like foods um, and also along with this collagen powder I'll have um, vanilla vegan protein powder to go in there too so hopefully that all works out um, Matthew's gonna have to make the smoothies in the beginning but then I'll be able to make them I'm gonna have to like write down a recipe for him and instructions my face is blurry. All right, let's do the Disney calendar. Yesterday was Bambi. Ooh, my favorite. Not my all-time favorite, but she's my favorite princess. Don't tell anyone, but Flynn Rider's real name is Eugene Fitzherbert. During a fireside chat, Eugene re reveals that he took his name from a childhood book called The Tales of Flanagan Rider. Flanagan was a swashbuckling hero, and Eugene hoped to grow up to be just like him. Aw, how cute. Alright, now I'm going to wrap up the vlog. Matthew's at the table eating. Um, but, thanks for watching. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Or share or comment, whatever you like to do. I love talking to y'all down in the comments. I don't know how the vlogs are going to be the next few days, because, um... The vlog for Wednesday, just tomorrow, will of course go up Thursday, but Thursday I have my surgery at 8 a.m. Well, I have to be there at 7.45. So, um, and obviously I'm going to be pretty out of it afterwards. So anyway, see y'all tomorrow. Bye!